Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Upskill Channel. In today's video, we'll tackle the VAAN 9003 error. This issue occurs because Vanguard requires Secure Boot to be enabled. While this error might also stem from other related problems, stick around as I walk you through various methods to resolve the issue. Let's dive in. This issue occurs when Secure Boot, or UEFI, is disabled in the BIOS. To check if these features are enabled, open the Windows search bar, type MS Info, and launch the System Information app. In the System Summary, look for BIOS Mode and Secure Boot State. The BIOS Mode should be set to UEFI. If it displays CSM or Legacy, you'll need to change it to UEFI. Similarly, the Secure Boot State should show on. If it's off, you'll need to enable Secure Boot in the BIOS settings. To enable these features, you must access your computer's BIOS. To determine your BIOS key, search for the key specific to your laptop model or, for custom-built PCs, the key associated with your motherboard brand. Common BIOS keys include F2, F10, DEL, or ESC. Close all applications, then restart your PC, and as it restarts, repeatedly press the BIOS key until the BIOS setup loads. The interface of your BIOS may vary depending on the motherboard manufacturer. For example, on an MSI motherboard, you may see an advanced mode. If your BIOS opens in standard mode, switch to advanced mode by clicking the option or pressing the F7 key. Navigate to Settings Advanced Options Windows OS Configuration and ensure the BIOS mode is set to UEFI. If it's set to Legacy or CSM, change it to UEFI. Next, ensure Secure Boot is enabled and the Secure Boot mode is set to standard. After enabling Secure Boot, enable TPM 2.0 by returning to the main menu and selecting Security Options Trusted Computing. Check that Security Device Support is enabled. For AMD, select FTPM, and for Intel, choose PTT or Firmware TPM. Avoid selecting Discrete TPM. Once all settings are configured, save and exit the BIOS to restart your PC with the updated settings. When Windows restarts, try launching Valorant to see if the issue is resolved. If the problem persists, restart your PC, access the BIOS again, and revisit Windows OS configuration. Disable Secure Boot. Set the Secure Boot mode to Custom, and then reset it to Standard by installing the factory default key when prompted. After saving these changes, restart your PC. Once back in Windows, verify in System Information that BIOS mode is set to UEFI and Secure Boot state is enabled. Then. Try opening Valorant again. If enabling Secure Boot and UEFI doesn't resolve the issue, you can try running Valorant in compatibility mode. Locate the Valorant shortcut or search for it and use Open File Location. Copy it and paste it to your desktop. Right-click the shortcut, select Properties, and go to the Compatibility tab. Check the box for Run this program in compatibility mode for and select Windows 8 from the drop-down menu. Click Apply, then OK, and try launching the game again. I hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and share buttons. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.